Hi, everyone. So we have a very interesting example here. Let's find the equations for the tangent plane to the surface at the point PO. And then we're also going to find the equation of the normal line. So let's take a look at what this is uh, for, for part A. Since we want the tangent plane, we're going to need a, a normal vector. And the normal vector is going to be computed by the gradient of uh, F or you can call it the big F, at that point PO. So the gradient vector for this particular surface. Now, you have to be mindful that this surface is an implicit surface, which means the gradient is going to be the partial of F respect to X, partial of F respect to Y, and partial of F respect to Z, since we have implicit surface. So when you have an implicit surface, this will be um, treated for the normal vector. Since this vector will be perpendicular to the surface at that point or orthogonal. Now let's go ahead and compute our partial derivatives with respect to each variable x, y, and z. So our partial of f respect to x. So we're going to take partial of this respect to x. So that's just going to be 2x partial of this function respect to y, that will be 2y. And for z, we're going to get 2z. Now, since they will all have 2 in common, you can kind of factor the 2 out. So this will give you 2 times x, y, and z. So now we can go ahead and plug in the point we want it at. So we will go ahead and substitute our point PO. So the gradient vector at the point P of which has the coordinate one comma one comma one, plug in x, y, z equals one, you got two times the vector one comma one comma one. So that's gonna be our normal vector that we're going to use to find the equation of the tangent plane. So that means our tangent plane at this point P O, it's going to have um, the equation a times x minus x o, plus b times y minus y o plus c times z minus z o equals to zero. Whereas a, b, c are the uh, partial derivatives respect to x, y, and z, and our x, o, y, o, z, o is the point p o one comma one comma one. So plugging those in, we have the following equation. So you'll have uh, one times x minus one, plus b is also one, so one times y minus one plus c is one, so that will be z minus one as well, goes to zero. Now let's clear this up. So we're going to um, write this as x minus one plus y minus one plus z minus one equals to zero. And moving all the constant term to the right-hand side, you'll have x plus y plus z equals to uh, three. So that will be our equation of this plane. Now, um, another thing we're going to do is to find the equation of the normal line at that point to the surface. So the normal line is the line that's parallel to the gradient vector. So the direction of that line, it's gonna be in the direction of the gradient vector. So our for the normal line, so this is for part B, we're going to use our direction vector v. We want that to be parallel to the gradient vector, so we're going to use the gradient vector as our direction vector at that point p o. So we know that vector happens to be two times components one comma one comma one. Now, again, if you want, you can use two two comma two comma two, but this is just multiplying these components, so it's okay to use just one comma one comma one. So we're going to use the direction vector to be just one comma one comma one because two times that it's going to be parallel to this so it's a scalar multiple by two that's what we had so we know the point we want the normal line to go through this point po which has the coordinate one comma one comma one so that means our equation the vector equation of this line it's going to be ro which will be the po plus t times our direction vector v now, since we're going to make this line parallel to the gradient vector, we'll use our direction vector as the gradient vector at that point, PO. So by substituting these components, our R of T becomes the 
uh, our, our, our sub zero, which is one comma one comma one. So that's gonna be this right here. And then plus T times the gradient vector, which is this one. So that would give us one comma one comma one. So that's our vector form of this line. Now, if you want the parametric equations of this line, so you could also write this as x equals x o, that's one, plus t times one, that would be uh, t. Then the y component will be y o, that's one, plus t times one, that's t. And then the z component will be one plus t. And of course, t is gonna go from negative infinity to infinity. So this will be the parametric equations of that line, this will be the vector equation of that normal line. So just trying to make a box. <laughs> okay, now let me show you a picture of this so you have a visual idea of what's going on. Okay, so I am drawing this in GeoGebra application. So I, I typed in the surface, which is a sphere that we're looking at right here. So we got x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to three. Now let's plot the point. So the point we were given was one comma one comma one. So let's plot that one comma one comma one. So that's the point. And we wanted a tangent plane. So as you can see, the point A is right there. And we want the tangent plane uh, at that point. So I'm gonna just view it this way so you can see it. Uh, the plane we got was this one. So we had uh, x plus y plus z equals to three. That's the plane we got. So if you recall, that was the one we computed and you can see it's tangent to the surface at that point. So it looks like a line, but it's a plane right there. So it depends on how you view it. That's the tangent plane. It will touch the surface at that point PO. Now let's write the equation of the normal line. So that's going to be in the direction of the gradient vector. So parallel to the gradient vector, which is perpendicular to the tangent plane. So um, so let's type in the um, equation of that line in uh, this form. So we're going to type in uh, the x component, which was 1 plus t. And then... Uh, the y component was also one plus t. We have one plus t. And the z component was also one plus t. So there you go. So there you go, that's your normal line. So as you can see, it's orthogonal to the tangent plane and it, it follows the same direction as the gradient vector.